to orientate the gasket on the head what I'm using is these two old bolts which I cut the head off and created a groove in there so I can bolt that down with a screwdriver so I'm going to use two suitable holes one there and one there opposites to make sure that the gasket is held in position when we come to putting the head on the, on the block there is some movement in there but it's not too severe make sure that most gaskets are actually labelled up the top so obviously that clears the top take the head place it over the two bolts and onto the gasket for final alignment with the, head gas with the head now placed on the gasket I can now access those bolts that I put in there and remove with a screwdriver I shall now put all the other bolts in place slotting them down into the holes bolt them down and then I can remove the two orientating bolts out in just a second. All I'm doing is making sure that the head does not move. They're lightly bolted down, that head can no longer move on that gasket. So all looking good so far. I'm now going to remove these two bolts. Two, and we'll put the two remaining bolts back in position there. As there be some time between assembling the engine and running it, I've lightly lubed the camshaft and the valves and the head with some engine oil, fresh engine oil. I'm using Valvoline VR1, which is the best oil for this engine, four pintos, um, and it will just stop that rust from appearing, which can appear within within minutes actually. Certainly, if I left that overnight and came back to it tomorrow morning, uh, there will be some rust on it if left outside. The time has now come to torque these bolts down. So I start with this one here. The sequence is one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I've had a look on the Victor Wright's website, and in the absence of finding the torque settings for a splined bolt, I'm, I'm going to refer to the, the Ford standard manufacturer settings. Uh, I've got no other choice, and um, I'm going to be uh, setting the first stage to uh, 55 newton meters. Or 41 foot pounds of torque. So I've set my torque wrench at 55 newton meters, locked it down, and I'm going to start the sequence. One, two, the sequence as recommended in the Victor Wright's handbook. In the absence of finding any torque settings for a splined bolt with the 12 splines on it, I'm, I've used the torque settings as recommended in the uh, Ford manual. Stage 2 is 17 newton meters, so I'm just going to set my wrench up to 70 newton meters. There's 70. We'll go around again in the same sequence. 
This is a four stage process. One, two, three, four, five. I shall repeat for stage three. Stage three requires 83 newton meters after 20 minutes. So this needs to settle now for 20 minutes. And then stage four is after 15 minutes of running at around about idle speed, so 1000 RPM, and that be set to 115 newton meters or 85 foot pounds of torque. I haven't changed uh, or the position of the camshaft in any of this um, during this time the head has been off so when I put the timing belt on it should be exactly where I want it to be and also if I'm going to leave this in position overnight I put a fresh amount of oil all over this to prevent it from corroding uh, and then I'll put the cam cover off on just to protect it even further I've got a nice new gasket to go on here. You notice that the old gasket got destroyed when I took it all off. The old one uh, I didn't put on dry, I actually put on some gasket sealant, but this time I'm actually going to apply a thin layer of oil on there and then I'll mount the manifold and the carbs on there. I'm just going to lather in this oil. It's just normal engine oil. This is the engine oil I'm going to be using. I'm using Valvoline VR, VR1 20W50. Nice thick loopy oil seems to run well this engine on the soil covering both sides but that will seal any air that's wanting to get into there when it gets sucked in rather than putting a completely dry gasket on so now it's a case of just sliding that gasket on to the location and I'll grab the carbs now you see there they are ported so that gasket does not inhibit any of the airflow going in to the head I have lightly cleaned up the, the head and carbs I haven't removed them off the off the manifold all I've done is just give them a, a little WD-40 so it protects any prevents any corrosion and I'll bolt that onto there right now